Oh my gosh. Jewelry. I just had the most amazing haul. So my name is Tracy. If you haven't been here before, this is an upcycling channel where we take thrifted, discarded items and create clothes, purses, and accessories. And I use a lot of costume jewelry on beautiful bags and brooches and headbands and you name it. I sold my stuff for many, many years. So I'm always on the lookout for really beautiful pieces and it's hard to source them. But I had the most amazing situation happen to me. My cleaning lady cleans for a gentleman who is a widower. His wife passed about 16 months ago and now he's ready to part with her things. My cleaning lady, Diane, she said, would you like me to give him your name? And I guess, <laughs> I think before she even got it out of her mouth, I'm like, please. He called me and said, you can come look at my, you know, what's left over. A couple um, consignment shops had taken a lot of the stuff. I have some clothing. There wasn't a lot of clothing left, but I don't think they went through the jewelry. One consignment shop had been through twice. I mean, kind of wiping, wiping them out. So my hopes weren't high, but I had the most amazing finds. I found some clothes, tons of costume jewelry, and there's some silver, sterling silver, and a little bit of gold. I'm going to go through all of it with you. And at the end, after the jewelry, I'll go through the clothes. I know a lot of you are upcyclers and want to see that sort of thing too. And I got a tub of makeup, unopened makeup, moisturizers, um, brushes, you know, makeup brushes. I'm excited about that too. I'll go through that briefly at the very end. So let's get to it. Okay, I forgot an important thing I wanted to tell you. I counted 69 items with the clothes I counted the makeup as one. You know, I counted earrings as one, a stack of bracelets as one. So I was very generous with my count, 69 items, $150. You know, that's not free, it's $150, but that means everything I got came to $2, about $2 and two cents each. Okay. I'm just going to start grabbing. I'm not doing this in any particular order. A lot of costume jewelry. Now this is a stretchy bracelet with little beads. Now I thought this was really pretty. It opens up like this and it didn't have, a lot of these had marks, a lot of these didn't. This did not. Pretty, that'd be pretty in the spring with pink. Let's see, now this, is, you know, it's this beautiful, I don't know if that's Mother of Pearl. I think it was a necklace pendant because this says Monet. And I'm pretty sure Monet is vintage and it's not going to be on a hair tie necessarily. But it has little rhinestones. I think that's beautiful. I am not a jewelry expert, so beautiful and cute are going to be a lot of my explanation. Here's a Geneva watch. All the rhinestones are there. And let's see. This has kind of an inlay of little gold filigree designs. Now this didn't have a mark. I thought maybe that was vintage. And it could be, but I don't see any name on it. Pretty brooch. Better start scooching those further away. Here's a, what do you call those bangle bracelets that are hard like that? I am not a reseller. I do not resell these things. They're for my personal use or to upcycle. Just a fun, chunky ring. I have kind of fat fingers, but I thought that was really cute. I'll wear that for sure. A little stretchy rhinestone bracelet. Here's a, a chunky necklace. This is 
little stretchy giant pearl type beaded bracelet. That's beautiful. Now that I could see on a purse, definitely like a focal point on the flap of a purse. Just gorgeous. Now this ring, I made notes. Let me get my notes. Okay. So this said sterling on the inside, 925. And it has, I don't know. I don't know if those, probably cubic zircona, cubic zirconia, but very nice. And I have this sparkly little brooch. Now, this is the only earring that I only have one of. I found it in her, she had two tall jewelry boxes standing on the floor. And um, I was hoping I'd run across the other one because I thought that was really cool, but I could use that to embellish something. And I love brooches that are uh, holiday oriented. I wear those on my jackets, coats, whatever. Here's kind of a rustic chain necklace with a amber colored pendant. And this one, that's just kind of fun. It's lightweight. Let's see here. Now this ring, totally costume, but isn't it pretty? There aren't any stamps or marks on the inside. But I thought that was beautiful. I'll definitely wear that. You'll probably see it on my hands in a video. There's another fun necklace with sort of a toggle clasp. Let's see. Now this ring on the inside was marked sterling. And I think it's beautiful. Another little ring. This was marked. Let me look at my cheat sheet here. <laughs> I had to, you know, I had a little magnifying glass, but that's, they're so tiny. That still wasn't cutting it for me. So I had to take pictures of it with my phone, blow it up so that I can read it. And this one says 10 carat, just 10 carat on the inside. So I'm guessing that's 10 carat gold. I don't know what the rest of the stones are. Now this one. I had to look up because, like I said, I'm not an expert in jewelry. And this one was marked um, on the back right here, C25. And so I had to Google that. And that's white gold, I believe. Okay. Little bracelet. A little ring. Let me look and see if that was marked. Okay. This one was marked 10 carat. I believe 10K means 10 carat. And CZ, which is cubic zirconia, the stones, I'm, I imagine. Super cute. Let's see. Now, this was pretty. It had a mark, a stamp on it right there, but I couldn't, I took a picture of it, but I couldn't really tell what the stamp meant. That would be fun on a purse. I made purses for years, only purses. So when I see something like this, I picture it across the front of a bag with fringe on it. Okay. I love this. I love charm bracelets. And this one had pretty little butterflies with green rhinestones on them. Very cute. And I love pearls. I make a lot of clothes that are kind of a vintage, have a vintage vibe. 
And I thought this cluster of pearls was really cute. Now, I have a pair of pierced earrings here. Either to wear or embellish something. Let's see. Pretty rhinestone bracelet. Another pearl type necklace. I like the color of these pearls. They look old. I thought that was cute. Kind of tangled. These little earrings. I think they had a mark. Um, oh, yep, yeah, they did. Avon. <laughs> Avon NR. Beautiful. Little keychain with a, a key and lock. Now this is Liz Claiborne. There's quite a bit of Liz Claiborne in here. This was Liz Claiborne too, this little bracelet. And let's see. Another pair of earrings. I really love her taste. <laughs> she had a lot of fun stuff. Oops, <laughs> I just dropped the earrings out of this little. Okay, so these are, let's see. Let me find my notes. Okay, these were marked 925 on the back, which sterling silver, right? And I don't know, that's, I don't, to me that's not what turquoise looks like. I feel like turquoise has little specks in it, but maybe not. Another little rhinestone bracelet. This is really pretty. I could wear that with what I have on right now, gorgeous. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah, a pair of red earrings. Be pretty at the holidays. We got another box here. Now this isn't marked in any way, but it looks real nice in that box and everything. Uh, it looks like it's missing a stone there, but I have a lot of stones and some jewelry glue. I could always fix that. Another pretty bracelet, kind of boho, hippie looking. Now this is fun. Now this is something something I would have been very excited if I was still making and selling my bags. Very unique. Here's a pretty. Now I believe this one was marked. Oh, Liz Claiborne. That's green. My lighting's not the best. It's a gloomy day here. Very pretty. Just a fun necklace pendant. Okay, so I think this is very cute. And the stamp on the inside says um, 18 karat HGE, which I had to look up, means high grade electroplated. So it's like plated with gold. This little ring, um, 18 karat gold, HGE. So it must be white gold. And again, electroplated, a high grade electric plate. Good enough for me. Now, this necklace I thought is beautiful. Okay, so this is marked 
925 on the back of the pendant and 925 on the chain. I love this. I feel like I wear that a lot because red is actually more my color than like green or something like that. Now I thought this was a cute choker and I tried it on. Very comfortable. Some chokers are not comfortable, but I thought that was really cute. Now this is Victoria's Secret bracelet and it's gold. I don't know if you can tell in the, or gold color. I don't know if you can tell. Now, I think this is kind of special, Suzanne Summers. It, it looks like it was from the Home Shopping Network. And it's this big butterfly with tiny little rhinestones all over. It's just beautiful. It would be fun to embellish something with, or you just want a big statement necklace. pair of earrings, Liz Claiborne, but if I didn't know they were Liz Claiborne, I would think they were really old, <laughs> and I mean, they're very vintage looking. Missing a couple little stones. Fun little bracelet here. I got just a little stack of sparkly bracelets in a green color. And I thought this cross was really pretty. And again, another holiday brooch. I think that's really pretty with the rhinestones and kind of the dangly. Pair of earrings, kind of steampunky utilitarian looking with the little metal rings. Okay, this is the last thing. Just a costume jewelry necklace, but very fun, hippie, boho looking. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the clothes and this will be pretty quick. She had some beautiful scarves that just have a gorgeous sheen and they're so big, you know, it could be a wrap or I'll upcycle it somehow. I don't always know what I'm going to do with these. I just know I like what I see and get it. This was a fun, you know, sort of swimsuit cover up or gosh, that'd be cute with jeans and a tank top or just about anything. Another pretty scarf. Now, this was normally $30 and it says wrap on the tag. Uh, it's a wrap. It's kind of a damask. It has a little design in it. Very beautiful. Another little cover up or caftan, or I don't think it's big enough to be a caftan, but you know, that'll be a great layering piece. Let's see. Now, these jeans, they're oversized. They're Gloria Vanderbilt. <laughs> they have a little pinstripe, but I'm totally picturing an oversized sort of legging look with some patches or some applique, maybe something fun down at the bottom. Now these are linen pants with sort of little cargo pockets on the side. Now these are too big for me, but um, maybe I'll tweak them to fit me somehow or upcycle them. Same with the animal print jeans or animal print pants. If I can't wear them, tweak them, upcycle them, then I can just cut them up for fabric on projects. I used to make purses out of this kind of thing and that was really fun. I know I talk about purses a lot, but 
I've made hundreds. <laughs> so that's kind of what I know. Here's another really pretty sort of captain looking cover up thing. Another beautiful scarf. Same tag as the green one. This is my color. <laughs> I love that. Now I thought this skirt, even though size 14, which is too big for me, look at those layers and that movement. I think I could tweak that to fit me. I love that. And another pair of animal print pants. All right, let's just look at the makeup real quick because I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, so I'm really loving the makeup brushes. Now, this says bronzer, I believe. Bare Essentials. Let's see. A little eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow. Um, smoothing fluid. You know, I, he told me, we chatted a bit, and he said she did not buy any eyeshadow palette or anything under $50 to $75. So when I see, like, moisturizers and smoothing fluid, I'm excited to give those a try because I need all the help I can get. Some eyeshadows. I think one's an eyeliner in here. Anyway, I need to go through triple strength wrinkle smoother. Yes, let's see. You know, this stuff's expensive and I I have to have some kind of wrinkle defense. Triple strength wrinkle smoother. It's probably old. Ugh, I am so excited. Okay. Let's see what this is. Pretty case. Estee Lauder. Little eyeshadow. Looks like a bronzer. There's a lot of bronzers in here, actually. Now, some of these have been used, and I do get that makeup expires and that you're not supposed to contaminate use other people's um, makeup and stuff. So I'll be careful. I'll probably only use the new stuff or I think a bronzer would be fairly safe. All right, underneath here are just older pieces that uh, I'll probably just get rid of. Some of these have been used and just kind of messy. But the case is cute. Now that one I don't understand. All right. Thank you so much. Now that's messy. You can see, I'll just probably get rid of that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Now, if you want, stick around for the slideshow at the end. I'm going to show you lots of examples of how you can upcycle costume jewelry. These are all things I've made. A lot of them have been sold over time, but some are recent tutorials that I've done here on YouTube. And if they are, I will make a note on the picture and put the link to the tutorial down in my description.